Hey there, it's Ella from Spline. In today's video, we will look at how to create a drag and drop effect using physics in Spline. This effect allows objects to collide with each other. If you export this to Spline Mirror for the Vision Pro, you can create your own creative smash room. Or some great 3D experiences that you can embed code free into your websites and apps. All right, let's get started. In this scene, we have a ton of icons and objects that are related to design. So to start putting objects into your scene, you can use simple shapes that are provided here in the top toolbar, or you can open up the spline library here, search for an object and bring it into your scene. We also have this scene linked in the description below, so feel free to open that up and copy and paste these objects into your own scene or just remix this scene altogether. So now that we know where we can get objects, let's dive into how we can create this interaction. So how does this work exactly? Here we are using the drag and drop event. So when we click on an object and hold it down with our mouse, we can now drag it throughout our scene and it's going to be pushing the other objects in the scene. Or I can drag and let go and watch the object fly. This is made possible because we have physics enabled but with zero gravity. And here I have this scene and I dragged and dropped all of these fruits and veggies from the spline library. Then I duplicated some of the food icons and spread them out and placed them throughout my scene like this. So now let's make this fruit fly. The first thing we want to do is select one object and I would recommend selecting the object that is at the top of your layer panel so it's easy to find. Now selecting that object, make sure to select the objects group. So if it has multiple parts, make sure to group them and name it accordingly. This way we will ensure that we're moving all of the parts of this object at once. Then we are going to add an event and change that to drag and drop. Perfect. Now opening up drag and drop, there are a few settings here. You can change how your cursor appears when you hover over an object, but I recommend using the hand here because personally, I think it's the best indicator that you can grab the object. You can add damping here. This affects how your object behaves when you drag it, creating a slower effect. But for this exercise, I'm going to leave this at one. You can then set the plane in the plane mode, but for this scene, I'm going to leave it as is. And as well for the relative to, you can set this to parent or another object, but I'm going to keep this as is on the world. Now for objects to drag, this is where the magic happens. Here you can set any and all objects in your scene to be dragged. You can see our top object here is already applied. So let's start adding all of the other objects in our scene. And here is a great reason why we want to name and properly group our layers. If your scene has a lot of objects within it, like this one, you can search for your objects here. This makes the process a lot faster. And so I'm gonna speed through and add all of my fruit and veggie groupings. One quick way to determine if you've missed an object is by going into the play mode and hovering over the objects. If you missed one, your cursor will not change. And so you can quickly fix this and add your object. There are some other settings, but we aren't going to explore these today. If you were interested in learning more, check out the drag and drop tutorial that we've linked down in the description. Now on to the physics part. This may sound intimidating, but it's really just a flip of a switch. So have nothing selected and under simulation here in the right hand panel, you can turn on physics by selecting yes, and then set the gravity to zero. That's pretty much it. Now we have physics turned on. So now what we need to do is select all of the objects in our scene, and with all of them selected, you can see here in the right hand panel, there are some physics properties. So what we want to do is just ensure that body type is set to dynamic. And that's all we need to do to create this effect. So let's go into play mode. And if we drag and let go, our food is now colliding with each other. We can use a fun experience like this in a variety of ways. We could embed this into a website for a playful web experience. And to do this, go to export and you can export either as embed or spline viewer. I would recommend turning off orbit, pan and zoom in the play settings here. 
hit update and copy that embed or spline viewer and you can paste that into the embed component on a website. And you are in business. You can also export this for apps as well using our iOS exports here. Or my personal favorite, export to Spline Mirror using the Vision OS export here. This is really easy. Just hit update and this will automatically be uploaded into your files on Spline Mirror on the Vision Pro. All right, that is it for this video. That was a lot of fun to make. There are tons of ways that you can use drag and drop in Spline from interactive designs, web experiences, mini games, and more. And a reminder to check out the in-depth drag and drop tutorial linked down below and check out the Spline community for inspiration. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.